So this week we're going to be going over our gradient map and so most people are going to have no idea what a gradient map is because logically it doesn't really make too much sense. So um, if you've ever heard of color grading in video and I've done a color grading video, this is really, really similar. You will notice that Photoshop has uh, lots of ways to kind of basically do the same thing. So I'm going to show you how to do a gradient map um, in Photoshop. And I'm also going to show you how to save it as an action so it's easy to repeat the process and get the exact colors that you just used on other images. I'm doing with this with two colors, one color in the shadow, one color in the highlights. You could really add as many colors as you want. So hold on and I'll show you how to use Gradient Map in Adobe Photoshop. All right, so welcome. So today we're going to be going over the Gradient Map. And so um, it's kind of interesting. If you've ever seen color grading, it's very similar. Photoshop uh, has a whole bunch of ways to basically do this, the same thing. So gradient map is, is definitely one of them. So um, the first thing I'm going to do today is actually, I'm a, I've, I've brought my panel over here for actions. And we are actually going to record this action so it's kind of like a one-click button and so the idea here is that you're going to like this gradient map and it would be something that you'd want to use over and over again so instead of going through this whole process we're going to actually record this action so we're going to go to this uh button down here we're going to click new action and if you don't know how to use actions um, i have videos on it there's plenty of videos um don't worry about it it's easy to find out so i'm just going to call this test gradient map just so I know what it is um, we'll just use default actions and color we will use blue alright so I will hit record and I'm gonna slide this out of the way alright so now we're recording this so first thing we're gonna do um, you can it, this is gradient map right here but uh, because I'm recording this as an action I'm actually gonna come up here to um, the uh, adjustment layers and do it so image adjustment layer and gradient map where are you because I don't use it so I don't know where it is alright good so we've got that so we're gonna double click in this little bar here as we can see we'll just double click and then we're gonna change the color so we're gonna click on the black and I'm gonna move up here to the blues and I'm looking for basically a color just like that. So we're gonna let, say that's okay. I'm gonna hit okay. So this color here is the color that is going into my shadow areas. Color over here is gonna go into the highlight areas. And as you can see up here, you can do a gradient of, of many sorts. It, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna click on the highlights. We're gonna go for kind of that typical uh, yellow orange so here I want it to be light lighter than that lighter than that and we'll go with that we'll say that looks good so I'm gonna hit OK I'm gonna hit OK here or hit OK here first then hit OK there and we're done so I'm gonna bring this actions back we're gonna go up and we're gonna hit stop recording then I'm gonna change this to button mode and we will test gradient map so there's our action so basically let me revert this image it's so gonna go back to where it was so now when we just hit click test gradient map it should uh, go back to where we're at need to click on that background layer there we go so I've got this picture of my daughter um, hopefully we're on the background layer but I'll just hit test gradient map so you can see it wipes out all the color automatically um, so you can do this to a color image as well you don't actually need uh, a black and white image so that is how to use gradient map and you can set up a whole bunch of these um, obviously when you're naming this instead of test gradient map you could say uh, like what colors they are 
in the highlights and shadows to make it a little bit easier. So hopefully that is helpful and uh, you learned a little something today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on social media, and watch a suggested video.